Hello everyone. Good morning. Hello. Well, what morning we've had? We have. Oh, it, it only gets funnier here, I think. I, Go on. Uh, I had a I had a crazy journey to work. Um, as you probably might have realised, we, we are in a rural part of um, Yorkshire, aren't we? Yeah. So um, we do meet lots of tractors, but this morning I met a tractor that had just shed its load. Like so, like, it literally, you know, all those massive great hay bales. So it shed its load on the road. Nobody could get through. There was a, a sort of little lorry ish driven by a, a lady who quickly jumped out, went to sort of try and help the, the farmer because obviously we're, you know, we're all trying to get past. Whereabouts was it? So it was on the road, you know, um, when you turn off from the. Um, Drift, no, the drift field to York Road yeah. and you turn onto the smaller road. It was just there before you get to the, one of the small bridges. Yeah. And um, anyway, there was this car in front of me and they were just like sitting there. And I'm thinking, we're never going to get, you know, this farmer and this lady can't shift these blooming great hail bales. You know, so when they're the big those round ones? Massive ones. ones. Holy yes. moly. When are those? Well, no, three of those massive ones. So, of course, I went past her, drove past her, went up to the hay bales, got out of the car, and I'm shifting the hay bales with them. <laughs> and you saw it Yeah. <laughs> what are you like? Ah, so, um, yeah, I might have bits of straw in there. What hair. are you like? Well, that's so a good anyway, deed of the day, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, we had to, everybody wanted to get on with their day. So we, we shifted them so that we could all get past, and the farmer had... Um, obviously been in touch with some of his guys and they were bringing a forklift to, to get them back on the tractor, maybe. You know, the tractor, it has a trailer in the background. Oh, yeah. so that was the start of the day. And it's our birthday. It is, yes. Our birthday, it our is. fourth birthday. So Fiona has made beautiful cupcakes. Um, nom, 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 nom. Yeah. Um, so inspired by the birthday, I've created a birthday sprinkles cake colourway. Yes. You've been frantically knitting. I have. <laughs> so I dropped this off at Fiona's house on my way um, home last night. And I thought, you know what? I'll, I'll just see if Fiona can knit the swatch. I've got X, Y, and Z to do. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> She's flipping. Finish the swatch. Look I how did, beautiful this swatch. is. Yeah. So this is birthday cake swatch. So this with, is the colourway. Yeah. With the speckles. This one's quite good on the sparkle. Yes, yeah, like nice, isn't it? And then I said, oh, and here's the sock. She nearly finished it. So, well, I don't know. I've got a foot to do, but um, it looks yeah. incredible. It does look lovely, doesn't it? Are so, these pink DPNs? They are. These are the like I, I still do socks on DPNs. Yeah, I weird can't. Up. I just cannot do those small needles. I small tried. Circulars. Yeah, small circulars. Can I show it? Hold it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the birthday sock set, which I delivered to Fiona yesterday evening, and she's done this already. Yeah, by by sort of, um, I think it was sort of nine o'clock-ish, I'd had enough, and I thought, right, that's it. I love the gentle speckles. So it comes as a sock set, like this. That's right, yeah. And then the wondrous Claire has designed, I sent her this uh, image that I found, that I paid for, and then... Claire has made it into a stitch marker. So it's Lovely. a little, there we go. I can see it finally. A birthday cake with a little candle. Oh, she's got candles. Oh. What a wall. Oh. Anyway. Never mind. So Claire has made birthday cake stitch markers. So you'll get this one and this one in a set of three, and they've got lovely cakes on them. That's, That's really, sweet, really lovely. Yeah. So they'll be available in lob, uh, these clasps, lever clasps, or hexagons. Mm -hmm which I'll show you on another. So Claire's also made these. So this is the, oh, oh my goodness. We've got a little tango going on. Hold just your Fiona just steps in, she just steps straight in. Hold your horses. And we just had an email this morning. Well, you got a notification on your I phone. I got a notification, didn't I, to say your... memberships, where there was a, they were suspended. I'm thinking, oh no, what's going on? So I'm in the middle of frantically twisting and still dying. And I've dyed what? kits for the, uh, Curious Handmade oh, yes. MCAL. So they're nice. nearly finished. So they will be ready, photographed and ready for the update at four o'clock today. Later on, yeah. So these are the hexagons. Oh, look at those. So oh, they are the stitch pretty. markers for our spring collection that Claire has made. So pretty. And most importantly, to celebrate you 
and a thank you for being in our community and supporting us. We're offering 15% off. Yes. As a uh, birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I was going to just plump that in your face then. Then. Yeah, they, they do. They smell all right. They smell they? incredible. <laughs> They've I mean, got a surprise underneath the buttercream. I, I'm not the best piper. I don't do piping, but I thought as um, I was showing them off, I'm. I like baking. You're very good baker. Well, yeah, but you I'm a family baker. baker. You know, okay. I'm not into the. Well, I'm just not into piping so much. So I did attempt. You should have seen the mess I made because I got a bag out. You know, plastic bag. And but a piping the bag or just a no, just an ordinary <laughs> plastic bag because I didn't have a piping bag. I found this nozzle that had been kicking around in the drawer, back of the drawer. Scrubbed it up, stuck it in the bottom of the bag. Anyway, I tried to pipe. Well, um, this one obviously is not so good. So it's I got, mean, it's okay at the bottom. Then it's got a little hat on the top. Yeah, but you covered like it with coffee. sprinkles. So yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. that was brilliant. Look at that. That piping. was probably the first one I did. That so, looks good, that one. But then all the buttercream was oozing out the sides. Then the bag popped. So I had buttercream everywhere. And then I'd left... So I've got my, mi my mixer. And then I've got the, you know, the blade that mixes it all up. Um, I've left that on my KitchenAid. And guess who came in and took the last blob off the mixing blade? Guess who? Your darling husband. Yeah, the rat. <laughs> We have this rat in the house that suddenly just decides any ate at least that much buttercream all in one go off the mixer. I said, right, that's it. You are in no buttercream on yours. You can have that one because that was the buttercream for that one that was left. Is that thing told off? Yes, it was. Anyway, yeah. What we like. So, 15% off today on the new shop update. Yes, wonderful. So, with the birthday cake colourway. Yes. Lovely. And I've dyed it on different bases. So, this is the merino sock. Let's go a bit closer to show you the speckles. But look at it on the <laughs> this boot is clay. Oh, my goodness. Look, look at that. that. How fun is that? Yeah. Oh, I love that. It's gorgeous. The boot clay is so lovely. Isn't it's it? It's so soft. The mohair is particularly delightful. Yeah, nice. Oh, look at those speckles. Really lovely. Um, and then the natural fluff. Yeah, amazing. Really, really lovely. So these are all uh, ready to ship um, when the shop update goes live at 4pm today, GMT. Yeah. Yes. And I've also done a little mini skein set. So you get one of the birthday cake colourway and mm. then four of the colours of the sprinkles. Very nice. Um, so that's a birthday cake mini skein set. Um, and the sock set. Um, Stitch marker studio. So then we've got the spring collection launch. We have. Um, so a couple of the, the bases are still dying. Drying. Drying. Dying, dying, or dry. dying and drying, probably. <laughs> Um, but this is the Spring Collection mini skein set. So we have five new colours. Oh, they look lovely though, don't they? They do look pretty. And we've been having fun naming them, haven't we? Yeah. So I wanted to do spring bulbs. So obviously yeah. the yellow is beautiful tay-to-tay. -tay. Tay -tay, yeah. Uh, beautiful daffodils, which I didn't realise that you can't get, like Claire couldn't get them in Canada. Oh, right. Why, why is that? Don't know. Oh. Just didn't, couldn't get them. Yes, so that's gorgeous. the taste tay, yeah. the yellow. Really nice. Then we've got... Got crocus. Yeah, that's it on the sorry out packet. Just Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Dreamy, isn't it? Yeah, really beautiful. I mean... It'd be nice as a simple sweater, wouldn't it? The it would. Look at that. Just a simple <gasps> raglan. Yeah, with the fluff. Mm. Oh, what about the pattern um, that you pointed out? The new sari pattern. Sari, sari Nordland pattern. <gasps> that would be nice in that. That would be beautiful. Yeah. Are you going to knit it for us? Yeah, God. <laughs> with everything else, then we have you. No, <laughs> um, what did we call this? This, uh, one's, this euphobia. one's euphobia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. euphobia. Yeah, I say euphobia. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Euphobia. I say euphobia. Euphobia. Because it's got an O R in it. Yeah, that's okay. So this is euphobia. Oh, euphobia. And this is on the sorry. Look at that. So in my garden, I've all the euphorbias are coming out, and they've got this sort of colour tassels on Beautiful. the top, and I really, I really do love them. Yeah, really nice. 
Um, so we've got Tay to Tay. You can see the colour difference there. Tay to Tay, Euphobia, Crocus. No, I mean, no, can no, you no. remember what that one's called? Not for the moment. Mascari. Mascari, yes. The grape hyacinths. Yes. Yeah. And finally, Geum. Geum. Yes. Geum, um, which is the slightly sort of salmon y pink, but gorgeous. Beautiful. In with those. So there's our spring collection. Really, really pretty. Five new colours. Yeah. Um, this Geum is inspired by a l wonderful lady called Laura Penrose. Oh, all right. Okay. Who were, wore the most amazing trousers this colour oh nice unravel festival yes and laura said there was a pink in your advent and it was day 21 i think it was oh, and it was yes. this this color it was with speckles on it had and speckles she's like, yes. i want it yes. i want a big skein without the speckles so this laura penrose is for you yes <laughs> <laughs> um, oh right so that's okay. the five colors there. i'm getting hot getting warm yeah what are you wearing oh well, it might not stay on much longer because I am getting hot. Um, I am well. wearing my Tolster tea, which I finished, and it's in natural fluff, which has been absolutely amazing to, to knit with. So this is the natural fluff with the speckles on, and it's got a, it's like a cotton. Oh my goodness, look at this little baby. So I forgot to say, we've got mini... Yeah. 20 gram skeins of natural fluff. They look amazing, don't they? So I'm going to dye off of those on natural fluff. Can you imagine? So I'll dye those up this weekend on natural fluff. Wow. I mean, yeah. imagine stripey. Yeah, you <gasps> could stripey do. Oh, no, look what I've done. Oh, my goodness. You just... Yeah, I've unraveled it. But anyway, it's gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, natural, natural fluff. So I, I've managed mine out of um, three skeins. Um, I did do some mods because I've obviously put sleeves on um, and we're going to show the mods a bit uh, a bit later for members. Yeah, so our YouTube members. So if you have questions about this, so yeah. we will be continuing to do content podcasts like this forever. Yes. Until we can't yes. yabber on any longer. <laughs> but we are also doing paid content, which will be available for members, which has uh, knowledge in it. You know, our sharing, what we've learned yes, and different exactly. things. Yeah. So. And it's a great way, so to join the membership is a great way to support our business and to go forward. Exactly. And it helps to, for us to keep on making the, the free the content, content that exactly. you yes. get, kind of thing. Does exactly. that make sense? Yes, it does. No, exactly. That's, that's it, exactly. And it's yeah. a great way to support. I know things are really hard at the moment, so it's a great way to support small businesses. And Absolutely, yeah. It's a great sense of little community. And it we're is. Doing so we love, nights yeah, and... we love, we love joining. We love being able to interact with the customers a little bit more. Yeah. And this platform um, gives us that ability, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So you can click join. Um, so there's a link on our latest episode, this one. There's a link underneath. And then there's also a link on our website. Yes. On the, on the drop down and Instagram. Yes, yes. So, so Instagram at Botanical Yarn. Um, and obviously you're watching us on YouTube, so you don't need to... Uh... Excuse me, I'm going to just move to the side and take my sweater off because I've got rather <laughs> hot. So, excuse me while I just, I'll just take over. side here gently and I shall be back in a second. Um, I've got to show you, I've realised that that is very sneaky. She's amazing. I've just, I've just come to the side here. I'm I've realised that the fluorescent yellow that I dye in a lot of the mini skein sets, I've never dyed... I've never listed it on the website. Oh, what a wally. Really? So oh, I've wow. dyed it up to photograph this afternoon. For photographed. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> She's having a warm spell. Um, so the fluorescent yellow will be live on the website this afternoon as well at 4 pm. And then to link quite nicely, we've got new knitting cords in the fluorescent yellow. So we had these at Unravel Festival and they sold out like crazy so inside i'll open the fluorescent yellow one so it's got a, a clear lid so you can see what you're you're going and then you've got two three cords and then these really clever little toggles oops oh she's broken it already yeah broken it um so what you can do is then thread so when you put your sleeve on whoa <laughs> the tea nearly went <laughs> It's been a disastrous day. You can, and why are we still podcasting? <laughs> I say nuts. So oh. you can put 
your when you put your sleeve through, yes. you can then tie it off like that. Exactly, yes. Without having to do a knot and then yes. you get tangled. It's it's they're useful. Yeah. Very, very useful. useful. So you get two of those, two toggles, yeah. and then you get a big cord yeah. to go around your the the body. Yeah, the body part. And then two smaller cords for sleeves. I mean I don't know I don't know how I would knit a sweater without them no, now. I'm a, I'm obsessed. Because uh, this test so knit I'm doing for Stephen one of the parts that says put on waist cord waist yarn i'm like no, no i can put it on my my put, cord yeah you just put your needle through and then you can just pull yeah. your needle out so I, I can't show you my test knit but yes. it's got one of the sections has just yeah. got the knitting cord and then two stoppers either end so it just holds it yeah perfect. fantastic and you're not sort of also then you're not tying up your cables so yeah. if you use interchangeables with chow goo say yeah. cables or whatever um you're not tying up a cable because you need yes you always need your cables so we've got them in four colors yeah really good colors look at this cobalt blue yeah i like that one i like that one. a green neon green neon nice. yellow and neon pink i'll show you the cobalt blue it's time for a sip of tea yes i'm gonna have a have to have a tea look how fun that is and then i've matched the um, cobalt blue toggles. Oh, so nice, aren't they? Um, so that is also the case for the pink. Yes. So they're available on the website now. The other gadget that we have just got in is the yarn holder. Well, back in. We had back some in. and we sold them all, they? Didn't went we? crazy, didn't they? Yeah, they were crazy. Unravel. So you can put your yarn cake on it and then as you... I've got an example, actually. Yeah, you... Have you... Um, oh, you put other oh so now place. Sophie's departing. <laughs> So uh, you can put it on your wrist, and then you can knit off your um, knit off your ball of wool. Oh, here we go. So here's a nice tangle for you. So this is okay. a clear version, but you can Same put principle. Yeah, it's a, a little one. handle, and then you put your yarn cake on. And I mean, you don't have all this yarn bath at the bottom because I just <laughs> literally threw it in my bag after a ravel. I was like, "We're going home." And then you can just knit. So that's the Unravel sock set that obviously I've done really well with. You can just knit and as it pulls, you pull off your... Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's really clever, isn't uh, it? It is. And I, I think people saw you with yours at Unravel. Yeah, and they're like, mine. Yeah, they, mine. They were, so we've got them back in because we literally sold out. Can they recommend um, this? We have got some, we've got this colourway and, and we've got you, like a greeny colourway. With like little plum pots on Yeah, it. yeah, which is really nice too. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm better now. You sorted. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really hard. <laughs> we, what else have we got? I can't show you my test knit. No. Um, it is due today. Oh, it's a lovely bag though. It's a beautiful bag. Yeah, it's a lovely bag. So this is the seed packet design and this is the midi one. It's gone down very well, this Beautiful, hasn't design. it? Yeah. yeah. Big bit of fluff on. But we have got new project bags. We have. Shall I lift the cakes out? I'll just hold these. <laughs> so this is um oh look at this it's so beautiful absolutely amazing a spare part now with that amazing fabric oh. and this is the roll top bag a small roll top oh. Oh, oh oh she's done it she's done it um so small roll top bag um beautiful fabric um and then this is it in the midi look at that with that cord. yeah i like that so sally blesser came in yesterday and i said can you just ones off can you just do this and she oh like, did she come oh, in yeah. lovely um so this is the midi size of the cinch top to yeah. match that one yeah lovely so these are all launching today at 4 p.m gmt and you can get 15 percent off amazing you don't do that one so this is the so this one's claire's <laughs> and this is the cinch in the same fabric so with the lovely it's mustard so nice yeah Gingham. uh absolutely amazing and this this literally will hold a sweater, uh, no problem. So there's one. plenty of room in them. They're beautiful, and it's aren't got they? Um, pockets, pockets it's everywhere. Pockets. And the 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 pockets are interlined. Oh, I don't know if I can show you. So there's there's a little bit stiffer. Yeah, here, which, clever with that, um, which makes it um, you know easy to put things inside. Um, they don't what is that? What pockets do? Well. <laughs> If you didn't int oh she's a, she's a, I was gonna say a rude word. If it's not <laughs> stiff, it goes all saggy. You know when I thought that oh, when YouTube oh. came up on your phone and said it's been suspended, I thought, oh no, what have we said? <laughs> <laughs> I 
oh, what have we yeah. done? Yeah, have we done something bad? But it wasn't. It was just I had to upload my driver's license. <laughs> Is that all it was? All it, but I couldn't get the right button. Oh, but we're done. We're sorted. Well, at least we haven't been suspended. <laughs> that would be awful, wouldn't it? This oh. is the mauve gingham, which I love. Look yes. at that cord as well, and the the um. And we've got the, the lovely, yeah, beautiful blush. I mean, you pink. could just have a matching set, couldn't you? Oh yes, and that would look lovely. I, I mean, have this one for my journaling and this one for my knitting. Oh, that's I mean, yeah, I beautiful. love those. And then um, so we've got five, four, the last four, yeah, four new styles. Of both. And look at this beautiful fabric. It's just divine. When I found it, I squealed. I was like, <gasps> so it's it's actual actual sort of embroidery. So it's it beautiful. Is, yeah, but this is and then we went mustard for the mustard, and then the lovely. Yeah, nice. So it was so funny. So Sal came in yesterday, and I was in the midst of all sorts. You know, you know when you're just like trying to spin about seventeen plates, <laughs> and um, Luna was going absolutely barmy. Oh yeah, that looks nice in there. Look at that, the crocus with that. Excuse me. Let's, um, excuse me. Excuse me. Let's, uh, let's oh, just get yeah. some. Oh, uh... yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Oh, that's gorgeous. That could be a sweater. That's the right tone. That is the right because tone. Because we were talking about it, weren't we? The, your Yorkshire lavender colour yeah. is too blue. It is, yes. Yeah. Too blue for me but anyway. This, but that is this perfect. Is, I mean, I feel like this has to be um, a sweater. Um this is the main colour and then a surrey. What do yeah. you think? Oh, this is the main colour and that is a surrey. No, Ooh. I like this. Yeah, I think this is a main colour. Because I think this has got to be the pop of colour. And this is the this surrey. Yeah. Or that as colour work. Yeah. What do you think? That would be bright, but it would be lovely, wouldn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. Um Yeah, so Sal came in and she was like, Oh, can you let me know which she'd cut out the bags out? Yeah. But she was like, can you let me know which cord and which tape you'd like for each okay. design? So I was like, yeah, no problem. So I made her a coffee, sat her down. She was having this fancy poke ball thing that she likes, some healthy stuff. <laughs> and I was like, right, so this cord, this cord, this strap. And then the next one, this cord, oh, yeah. this, this strap, is... you know, because they're yeah, all yeah. different. And then yes. this cord, this strap. So she's, I said, right, are you writing it down? Oh, no, no, I'll remember. <laughs> right, and I was yeah. like... Uh oh. Okay, so then I went up, <laughs> back out, was dyeing more yarn, putting more things in the dye pans, came back. So, oh. <laughs> I was like, yes, my darling Sally Pops. <laughs> Which card goes with this? She hadn't remembered any of them. Oh no. Oh, so dear. we went through, but actually, I, think I mean, that's beautiful. That's, that is gorgeous. Yeah, it's just, it's just right. I like, um, I like the contrast. contrast yeah, yeah. Just it looks really that. good. Um. What else have I got to say? Oh, I am having a disaster. Oh, no. Because I would like to make a disaster for this pattern. Oh, yeah. Yes, by it's Bass Trico. It's a nice. chevron baby blanket. Um, okay. Melissa Clull... How do I say that? Clullo. Clullo. So it's a free pattern Clullo. by Spass Trico. It's a chevron baby blanket. They've done it in a blue sky fibres worsted cotton, 100% cotton, right? Okay, yeah. So cotton, I've only crocheted with cotton. What's cotton like to knit with? I think it can be a little bit tough. harsh yeah, that's on your thought. hands. Yes, yeah. it can but be. But great for babies. However, saying that, I've heard some reviews of the Drops Bell and although that isn't such a smooth round yarn, yeah. it, I've heard... Uh, reviews say it's easier on the hands mm. to knit with. So what's that formulated of? Um, I've no idea. Pass. <laughs> yeah, absolutely no idea. But it's certainly cotton. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether there's. Because drops do a hundred percent cotton, I don't and then think they do there's... another. So they do an acrylic and a wool mix, which can go in the washing machine at thirty. Oh, okay. So they can all go in the. Wa so all of the ones I looked yes. at were all washing machine. Yes. Um, but also so. Those colours, so blue sky fibres, you can buy, so there's links on the Ravelry page okay. to, where you can buy the yarn from. But it was like 16, 18 pounds a yarn for each skein. And yeah. I was like, I love the people dearly that I'm giving this baby blanket to, but not... Well, it, it'll be, yeah. An that, it'll be an expensive blanket. It would be a very expensive blanket. And also, um, I mean, 
a young baby, you know, it it is going to get potentially <laughs> quite dirty with um, poops and um, sticky, sick, and or you know, it has they have to be washed yeah, so often. Course, yeah. So I was thinking drops would be great. That's yeah, what I was going for. Absolutely. Like it. Yeah. But then I was looking at colours and you know what I'm like with my colours. I'm like, yeah. right, well, I didn't really want, I wanted to do pink, obviously, but they don't know if it's a boy baby or a girl baby. So I was like. You've got to go for neutral colours, yeah. haven't you? So I found some lovely, like, there was one colour that was like parchment and then like oak and like. So I'm going to oh, go okay. with. Yeah. Nice. So I'll share um, which colours I've picked for the baby blanket. Um, but it's just a really, there's only two rows to the pattern. That's it. Wow. Um, Amazing. So it's a free it's pattern. It's lovely. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's just really it nice. simple, yeah, classic. Yeah, I really like it. Um, so how many colours do you choose overall? How many colours does it need? So obviously you've got your background colour. And then how many other colours? So they've done, they've done one version of five skeins. Then okay. they've done another version in 12 colours. Oh, really? Which I thought would be quite nice. That'll be interesting. Yeah. Oh no, sorry, S six colours, five, five colours for the mini skeins, and then yeah, really lovely. Yeah, it's a it looks does look a very effective um, pattern. Pattern, yeah, I like the um, the overall look of it. So that's a, a work in progress. Once I finish my yeah. testing it, and I've ordered the yarn, you're dying to cast on. Yeah, I've had a I've had a bit of a um a lull. Not that I haven't got any whips because I have, but um yeah, I've got to um I've got to figure out my next cast on. So I've got a feeling, yeah, it could be perhaps here on the table. <laughs> mm, let's think about that. <laughs> well I haven't dyed the full colours because we picked out so this is gonna be your main colour. Yes. Which is the non superwash pampas. So this is our non superwash hundred percent merino base, which yeah. you've done the maths for. So we're thinking of doing the Polina sweater. Yes, yes. By Teddy Lutterzak. Yes. And you think that this non superwash work will work better than our sport base? Yeah, I think so. It's because it, it's a bit confusing. I think um, it's all about swatching and gauge, isn't it, really? Let, let's be honest. I mean... And have you swatched? Uh, no. <laughs> not, not yet. But you shall. I shall. Absolutely, definitely. You shall. Because I don't... Always for a sweater, I, I, will, I will swatch because invariably, even if you're off gauge just a, a little bit, you can do the maths and figure it out. Um, and do maybe a, I don't know, maybe a one size larger or one size smaller, depending on where your gauge sits. So um, I think I think this this will work. Um, and this is your oh, CC, then, which yes. matches your dress beautifully. It does, doesn't it? Actually, yeah. yeah. So uh, it's going to be yeah, the main colour and the contrast colour with the. Shall I get the pattern up on your phone? We did oh, show yeah. it last episode, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's not it's the, not liking anything this morning oh that's the um pink of our um yeah, the inspiration for the, the pink. pink um what am i looking for thingy thingy paulina i think it should come up straight away nope it's a clear film oh is it yeah oh interesting um, i've got ravelry open got it oh here we go it's lovely such a beautiful pattern. I think she's doing a knit along for it. Yeah. Yes, she is. Yes, I um, think so. Yeah. So you're thinking of doing just two colours? Yes. So, uh, yeah. Like that, the two colours. Yes. Um, yes. However, I have dyed Alcamilla Mollis for yeah. my base colour. Yeah. You're and fine. then... You're going to do that. I've dyed a Dahlia Peach. This isn't actually... That's on the Superwash base. Not yeah, one very wash. nice. For the petals. Yeah. And then... And then, please may hold. Thank you, Miss. Thank you Ooh, for the. That's lovely version. It's just very monochromatic, isn't it? For the petals. Yes. Nice. So sorry for the petals. No, what am I? The leaves is going to be the peach. Yeah, the stems, the peach, and then the actual flower stem. No, what? Who am it, I? Well, <laughs> I don't know. So the leaves <laughs> is going to be the peach. Yeah. Yeah. This part. This and is the then, main colour. Um, there's the sort of flower heads that's here. That's the word I was looking for. And that's, that's going to be, be in, in the Monada. Yeah. And Lovely. we've just now got non-superwash minis 
and sport minis. So the world is our oyster now. Yes, yeah, we're sort of... So that's really good for sweaters because then you can get sport minis. Yes. I've just thought straight ahead, sport minis are uh, Rhinebeck sweaters, whatever, they, Andrea. Because yeah. she usually does sport, doesn't she? She does often do sport, yes. Yeah, that could um, be it. Because did you mention we're going to Rhinebeck? <laughs> Lovely. So excited. How many um, days are you counting? No, I haven't started yet. Uh, no, no, I, d I don't know what day it is, to be honest. But we've also got the natural fluff minis. So that's 20. I, can't, I don't know the meterage of it, but it's adorable. Isn't yeah, it? it is very cute. I mean, like, you could um, add some puff fluff into it. Puff? <laughs> and puff. Fluff and puff. Um, And I'll blow the house down. <laughs> is that what they say? Something like that, yeah. So I also want to re-knit my... Oh, you can see it there actually. Oh, yeah, popsicle. popsicle. Yeah. So because I did an error and knit the wrong size. <laughs> but it still looks, I mean, it you does did, work. But it does look good. It does look good. Great. Yeah. But it's big. But it does look Oversized. so lovely. Yeah. So I'm going to re knit it. Yes. So okay. we were deciding, I was pushing it around my face. Yes. This is our new GM colorway for nice. the main color. Or this new, co this new color. So I did it like this, didn't I? Ooh, you did. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Which colour do you think? Let's let's do. So put that one down. Let's see on the camera. How does that? That looks bit, good. We, that's a bit. It's pale. a bit pale. Let's try this one. <laughs> no skeins were harmed in the video. <laughs> I think it's got to be that one. I think it's you fun, the, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's you bright. see the darker colour better. Actually, but I do like this one. But that could be a mini. That could be a yeah. It could a be, pop. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, what we like? crazy. Um, do you want crazy. to show the new? I can't balance. Oh yes, that. and we have had a delivery, so these will be going out today. Um, Is it the launch date? I don't know. <laughs> better check that actually. But yes, we have these. Professionals. <laughs> we, we have we have these. In stock now, they have arrived. Yes. We will check the launch so date. So they will dispatch before the launch date, but in the right yes. time. Yes, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> before we get told off. Yes. But there's a shawl in here that I had my eye on. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look. Um, oh, that's nice. I love that too. I've just I seen love that the illustrations. Oh, look at that hoodie with the embroidery. Wow. I've knit, I knit uh, my grandson a hoodie. Did you? I did, yeah. Oh, I like the hood. That's lovely. Is Isn't it attached? It? Yes, it yeah. is. Oh, exciting. And French knots, embroidery. Wow. Marion Mersic sea salt. Oh, I like that. That's so, that's fun. Isn't it? I mean, your minis would look great on the that. The fluoro minis on that would look amazing, wouldn't they? Worsted yarn. So you, DK. Very That's nice. Beautiful. Yeah, it is very nice that. But the one I was thinking of is Dum Dum Dum. Oh, I recognise that lady. Rebecca Clo. Yeah, it's a really lovely Pladder. Uh, lovely sweater. Beautiful. That. Yes. I do like that sweater. The cardigan with the rib on. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, lovely, isn't it? That's it's like with a fish, mohair. Is yeah. it like a... it's like a broken but then yeah on the alternative mm. that is nice with oh. flipping shawl gone sure it's in here yeah oh there was a shawl i've got i'm, 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 I'm here lily kate france lily oh. kate makes and it's called peppy Let's have a look at the whole, um, oh, so what does it look like? Oh, here we go. Oh, interesting. Yes, very nice. A nice yeah, simple lovely. knit, I think. Yes. Worked as two separate scalene triangles and joined at the top so the points are misaligned. This way it can have a layered feel without being, it looks being layered. far smaller than a folded square would need to be. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Layered. I thought it would be nice yeah, in our new spring nice. colours. Oh, lovely. Oh, with some pampas grass. Mmm, very nice. Yeah, with that colour. <laughs> very nice. Be nice with that, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. Fun pops. Yeah, really lovely. Yeah, I do like that. It's interesting. It's lovely, isn't it? It's an interesting construction, isn't it? I haven't even drank any Oh, look tea. how pretty this is. It's, um... 
Oh, oh that's Bonnie. Got oh, I think uh, the skin of yarn's just decided to <laughs> like, pop. Let me free! Look how pretty that is over the top of a dress. Yeah, it's beautiful. I really love that. That's Bonnie. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I know, recognise that name. Isn't that the lady? I think I follow her on Instagram. Marzina Kolacek. Uh, might be mispronouncing that name. And yeah, it's I'm called sure the Divana. Beautiful. Um, the sweat, the... Mm, cardigan um oh look at the pico edge on there as well beautiful yeah i really like that yeah it's a nice episode nice issue it episode. is a really yeah it is a really lovely issue this um, one i did get a notification this morning that another episode of masters of air is launched friday oh it is yes tonight yes yes and the other thing i'll be that's on apple tv the other thing i've been watching is constellation which yes. you didn't like no i i couldn't really yeah, I really struggled with the whole um, sort of slightly odd thing going on in the wardrobe when her little her little That's girl was in the That's wardrobe. Yeah. Now I'm only saying about the no. wardrobe. I want to say why. <laughs> so I've but Masters of the Air I've quite enjoyed. Yeah, and um, what's it called? Butler, the guy that was Elvis. He's in it. Yes, um, I can't think of his name. No, I can't. No, Jarvis. <laughs> but it was it was it's good yes yeah it's really lovely uh, uh yeah really really enjoying that not lovely it's violent no it's not violent well it's, it's well it's a world war, war two yeah. uh sort of drama so yes there are but it's magnificently filmed yes and it's it's it can be a little graphic maybe yeah. at times can't it there's a bit where a leg flew off and i was like oh yeah i just have to look away yeah. do some more knitting yeah, at that like, point oh yes <laughs> Um, so on that note, <laughs> um, shop update today at 4pm, yes. what time are we now? 10 to 12, better get a wriggle on, Yes. go and photograph all this stuff and um, you can have a lay down. <laughs> As if. <laughs> it is so it is. funny. Um, but yes, thank you all so much for your support and yes. if you'd like to join our YouTube membership, you'd be very welcome. Absolutely, we'd, uh, we'd love to, to see you there. And 15% off Yeah, this terrific. weekend. So fr from today at 4pm GMT till Sunday at midnight mm. GMT. Um, so yes, it's very exciting. So all the new colours will be live, all the new goodies. And yeah, we'll go yeah. from there. Excellent. So thanks for watching. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye.